So now we're about to get snow and ice on top of snow and ice left over from the storm weeks ago. Nine News reporter Mark Salinger is along now from Denver where sidewalks and roads are going to get a fresh layer of the misery sauce tonight. Mark. Something like that, Kyle. It's starting to come down here in downtown Denver as we start to see that snow accumulate just a little bit on those sidewalks and roads. If these predictions are correct, it could be until tomorrow afternoon until people can start really shoveling their way out and it could take a while to dig out. Getting through school the day before a big storm is hard enough. Walking home in Capitol Hill might even be harder. Nearly three weeks after the last big snow, the sidewalks across from Morey Middle School are still covered in ice. Someone even laid down a rug at the snowy intersection to make it easier to step across. It's been um, pretty tough, just uh, really slippery, even some cars like getting stuck in like ice that just stuck around after that last storm. Just as the ice was starting to melt away from last year, tonight's storm will make it all worse. The city doesn't plow residential sidewalks. Each homeowner is responsible for their own section, which doesn't always mean everything gets shoveled. No problem for pups like Finn. He loves it. He waits all year for this. It could get dicey for his human, Nick. We're already uh, planning on like uh, tomorrow and for the rest of this week, either having to like dig out cars or just like uh, deal with um, you know anything that's built up on the sidewalk or ice and stuff. Cities across Colorado have programs to help people who can't shovel their own driveways and sidewalks. In Denver, it's called Snow Angels. This is uh, about helping your neighbors. The premise is simple. You sign up, you get a free shovel, and the city tells you who needs help shoveling after a big storm like this one. This program helps connect those neighbors who may not be aware that maybe a couple of blocks away from their house, um, in a very short distance, there is someone who might need this, this assistance. The goal is to shovel as many sidewalks as possible. He does just fine. <laughs> Doesn't mind it at all. For everyone other than Finn the Alaskan Malamute, here's to hoping this storm melts away quickly. Now for that last storm back in December, the Snow Angels program had about 300 volunteers that helped shovel out around 500 homes. That's great, but they're hoping to double the number of volunteers, especially for this storm, to make sure that everybody who needs help gets that help.